Hi, Joe Clark with Invented Zero Therm, and today I'm going to be doing the last review video uh, out of the series of, um, I guess, four that I've done so far. Today, in particular, I'm going to be talking about Review Full and those features. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, Review is a standard program that comes with any of our recorders or the Nano DAC. Uh, but Review Full is a little bit more advanced version of Review Lite. Uh, gives you some additional options, including uh, automatic printing. Auto archiving, you know, moving you know older data to uh, another database, uh, chart and replay functionality. As I mentioned before, running as a service, meaning you know it goes out to the recorder at whatever interval you want, pulls the data into the database, and you never have to touch it. Uh, spreadsheet viewing, uh, also uh, support for security manager. So this should be a a relatively uh, brief video and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about some of these features how to set it up and, and really exactly what they do so the first thing I'm going to talk about is automatic printing and I will say that before we get into this uh, automatic printing does require you to have a chart already made Now we talked about this previously in uh, the first uh, instructional video here but creating a chart is basically going in here and choosing what points you want and showing your chart like you see here. Once this chart's made, simply file and save chart. But I've already got one done, so you can uh, ignore that step. You've already have a chart saved. Now the whole point of automatic printing means that uh, when a batch has been completed and review has detected that it's been completed because it's running as a service, it can automatically print it to a printer or a PDF file. So setting it up is actually pretty easy. You go down to file and automatic print it brings up the automatic print setup window. Now I don't have anything set up, so let's go ahead and go down to where it says add. And similar to what you've seen before, you choose what instrument you want to look at, what group you want to look at, and then you have to uh, navigate to the char file that we talked about. So what we just basically told the automatic print uh, setup is that <clears throat> any batch that we determine or we see on the recorder has the name of survey recorder 2 on group 1, uh, it's going to print that batch data once it's done. Now I say automatically, uh, most likely you're looking at about a 2 to 5 minute uh, span between the time the batch is done and review prints it. So it's pretty uh, quick in terms of uh, doing the the printing, uh, it, it, times could even be quicker than that. Now one thing I do want to point out is this box here for match uh, merging batches when uh, matching descriptors. Basically what that means is that you have a batch that has the same uh, fields, it's going to, if you have it checked, it's going to combine all the data into one chart and uh, start with the, the, the oldest data obviously to the left, uh, finishing with the, the, the newest data to the right. If you don't do that and you uncheck it, uh, basically, anytime a new batch is done is completed and has the same existing uh, name as before, it's only going to print the latest batch. So typically, you're going to have different uh, identification markers. So uh, whether you choose to use it or not is up to you. But in the event that you do use same uh, identification, keep that in mind. Uh, also, uh, in terms of printer, uh, any printer that you have uh, set up, you can choose here. Now, had I had a uh, something like an Adobe PDF Maker or, or something along those lines, something that was applicable into review, uh, once I chose that printer, this box for PDF printer would become available. I could check that box and then uh, from there choose what directory I want to save my charts in. Once I'm done, I hit OK. And you see that my uh, recorder um, with whatever group and it determines batches on is going to be printing at whatever interval that the batch uh, is completed on. Now I can set up multiple different batches here and I can run uh, multiple at one time. So again, pretty straightforward. Once you're done, you hit OK and that's set up. Uh, going back into automatic print, if you ever need to make a change to it, it's as simple as hitting edit and making whatever changes you want. And likewise, if you don't want to use the feature anymore, simply delete it. So that's setting up automatic print really straightforward not a lot to it and again the purpose of it is to print the data after a batch has been completed okay so now auto archive the whole point of auto archive is to essentially take the data 
uh, that's currently in your review database and either delete it or move it to another database. A couple reasons for this. Review is based on a Microsoft Access database which has a limit of two gigabytes. In the event that you are running a database that is you know, a couple years old or you're bringing in multiple points from multiple recorders, the database is naturally going to grow over time. So with that being said, there needs to be a way to maintain it. Now, previously, we talked about going to database and maintain database. Same kind of concept here. We can go in here, we can move to an existing database, uh, or we can delete it. Again, that's up to you. However, as a review full feature, you have the ability to let review do this for you. So if you want to use automatic uh, archiving, basically enable it to say uh, I do want to use automatic archive and then what do you want to do? Do you want to move the data or do you want to simply delete it? Now again keep this in mind for the applications out there where you've got a high amount of I.O. but you need to maintain records for years obviously you're going to want to move the data to another database and not delete it. What this is going to do is based on whatever interval you you set down here in terms of how old the data is and how often to do it, it's going to push that to another review database. It's going to name it based on the date and time that it was created. So that way, when the data is moved, you can easily find that database and then simply load it into review and, and look at whatever data you want. Deleting, well, that's pretty straightforward. Anything that meets the criteria below, it's going to delete. So there may be some uh, customers out there that don't need to have that data after you know six months worth or a year. They can simply delete it. That will just remove from the database and then compact it. Okay, so in the event that we were to do either one of these, uh, when you go down uh, below, it says archive or delete data older than. So what that means is at whatever interval you set, it's going to look at data based on this interval which you see here anywhere from one day to one year and it's going to move that so for example let's just say that we set it to three months and we want to perform this functionality every month what this means is that on a monthly basis it's going to look at the database and anything that is in the database that is older than three months it will based on above move it to another database Okay. That's all it's going to do. The entire process really depends on how much data you're bringing in naturally, but should be relatively brief in terms of maybe five to seven minutes. That being said, I would recommend that when you set this to, uh, to do what it needs to do, set this up at an early time in the morning when it's unlikely for somebody to access the database. Uh, and the reason I say that is in the event that this is actually running, uh, users will not have access to the database. So again, if you keep it at some time early in the morning, you know, 12 to 4 o'clock in the morning when an operator might not be using the data, uh, this is the safest way to go. And of course, uh, lastly down here, uh, archive database, that's where your database is going to be saved to. Uh, again, every time the, the, the task is performed, it's going to create a new database. Again, it, it lists it with the date and time so you can keep track of what data is contained in that database. Uh, one last thing I want to point out at the very bottom, uh, prompt user before performing archive uh, delete. Again, that's completely up to you. If you want to have this completely streamlined, I would suggest unmarking uh, the prompt user. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't, it's going to pop up and say this test is about to perform and you have to hit OK. So keep that in mind. So let's do an automatic backup. Again, you can perform it without doing it, but again, one of the nice features of Review Full is you can let Review do everything for you automatically. So let's talk about uh, chart replay. So let's go ahead and bring up that chart I was talking about earlier. Okay, so here's my chart. And you've seen this in my previous videos if I span out just a little bit here. There we go, we got some data. Okay, so what Chart Replay does is it basically will go back and show you the uh, trend um, in real time as if it was collecting the data live so you can kind of monitor the data. Um, in order for me to do that, however, I need to change the current view to a Chart Replay mode. So if I go to Chart and go to Setup and Current Mode here, if I change that from Chart to Chart and Replay, 
I hit OK. Again, it gives me a very similar view, but now I'm actually looking at the data uh, with a play button down here. So let's let's go ahead and navigate out to the very start of this. Let's zoom in quite a bit to two second intervals. We start here. And as you see, when I hit the play button, basically what it does is every two seconds is going to update like you would see on a recorder if you were trending at two second intervals. And of course, as it moves along, you notice where I have a dotted line. As I move this dotted line and as it progresses, the values on the right hand side here will adjust with it accordingly. So again, this is kind of a nice feature, a nice functionality to kind of see what's happening during the process. Again, this is part of a review full feature. Running review as a service, we've already covered, and of course that took about 15 minutes to talk about, so I won't talk about it again. However, keep in mind, running as a service means that chart um, or any data that you have out there uh, on a recorder or a nanodoc will automatically be pulled in by review. And again, if you guys want to view that uh, video, I'll have it in the description of where you can actually see uh, that instructional video on how to set it up. Now spreadsheet viewing, uh, this is kind of a nice functionality to it. Uh, normally this is the chart that we're looking at here, you can see the trend. If I hit this button right up here where it says toggle view mode, it then transfers it into a database looking Excel spreadsheet type view. So this is nice because it gives you the ability to scroll through the data just like you would normally in a, in a spreadsheet. Um, you have your day and time followed by the messages and then of course every thermocouple that's being used its I.O. points. Likewise, if you wanted to print this, uh, let's just say we want to look at the batch. It would print off data as such. Now again, we would, we would go in here and adjust some of the settings and, and the formatting to it, um, but it kind of gives you an idea of uh, exactly what you're looking at. So that's talking between spreadsheet view and chart viewing. Again, this is a full feature. Um, and this is nice because for the customers out there that don't necessarily want to look at a chart or want to look at more of a spreadsheet, you can instantly do it here without having to export to a CSV file. Now lastly, the, the, the one last thing I do want to talk about though is the security manager. Without having security manager set up, I really can't show you much. Again, it's underneath the security. One thing I want to do want to point out though is with Security Manager, it allows you the ability to lock specific individuals out of doing certain things like creating a new chart, uh, deleting a chart, doing a transfer, etc. So you can see here with security, it does require you to log in and log out with your user ID. So unlike what I've done today where I can just log in and just open up review and do whatever I want, it will basically open up to this and prompt for a username and password. And when I do that, based on your credentials, it allows you to do what you want to do with it. Again, just allow support for it. Uh, the reason why I don't see anything now, despite the fact I'm using ReviewFool, is that I don't have a security database uh, set up. Uh, I will be doing this in another instructional video, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, relatively straightforward but um, the instructional video will show you how to do that. So that being said those are the review full features um, pretty easy to set up and, and if you guys have any other questions regarding you know specific details on it the manual is a great help if not you'll see my information popping up on the screen right now uh, feel free to uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks a lot.